I'm a big believer that a lot of people don't operate based on what's right or wrong. They only operate based on the consequences of their actions. In today's video, I want to talk about forgiveness and my approach on it, um, why I feel the way I do about it, and maybe I can drop a few nuggets that can help some of you out too. So first, let's start with the definition of forgiveness. So I think forgiveness means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But in general, it means to let go of thoughts of resentment or revenge for a party that harmed you. And with that being said, let's dive in. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was just the fact that at a certain age, people know better. When somebody does something to you when you're younger, if they tease you, if they make fun of you, if they steal something for you, borrow it, whatever. Like, they're young, they don't get it. You know, that's something that a lot of people go through when they're kids, they get made fun of and all those things. But in general, you guys are all young. You know, people are gonna make those type of mistakes. But as an adult, when somebody does something wrong to you, you should never take that lightly. And the reason is because they know better. Once you reach a certain age, people don't just do things on accident. They do it because they feel like they can get away with it or they do it because they don't really care how you feel. At the end of the day, they knew what they were doing was wrong. It's like the difference between if somebody steps on my foot while they're dancing and they didn't see me, obviously that's easily forgivable. It's not really their fault, it was just an accident. But if I turn around and somebody slaps me in the back of my head, like <laughs> that's on purpose and they're doing it to get a reaction out of me or whatever. But those types of things are not easily forgivable to me. Which leads me to my next thing is just the fact that some people forgive way too easily. And a lot of times it's rooted in scarcity because they feel like if they respond in a negative way to the person who harmed them, that that person might walk away from them, even though they're the one that did you wrong, but you still feel like you have an obligation to them. When I feel like you as an individual does that, when you constantly let people get away with things against you, that leads to them continually abusing you and mistreating you. And over time, this is also why the party that harms you starts to lose respect for you, which is kind of funny, but not really. But it's kind of funny how the person who is doing the harm is the one who is losing respect for the person who is being harmed. I always like to think of my ability to forgive as if I'm running a business or I'm working at a company, right? So when somebody works at the company and they cause damages, they're stealing, they're caught doing something sneaky. They're doing something they know they're not supposed to be doing. Well, they have to go through corrective action. Usually, when you do something like that to a company, these are your three options or the three ways you can go. You'll either get shown the door, you'll get put on probation, or if they bring you back in, you don't get to get the same cozy spot that you had before. You get demoted or you get moved somewhere else. And that's the way that we as individuals need to handle our business and our personal space. When somebody harms you, does you wrong, does you something that they know they weren't supposed to be doing, they need to be shown the door. You need to leave them alone. They can't be put in that position again because they've already shown that they will compromise that position. Ultimately, the way I look at it is that if you cross a road with me at a certain point, you got to stay over there. Only if it's unintentional will I really accept what you did to me and be willing to forgive you. At the end of the day, there needs to be a consequence for what that person did to you. You just gotta be able to look yourself in the mirror and remind yourself that they did you wrong, they did you dirty, and they turn around and slept well at night after they did it. As far as the negative feelings associated with when somebody does you wrong, I think you need to get to a point where you have peace with it. I don't think it's good to hang on to those negative um, feelings of resent or revenge. It's usually not worth it, to be honest, especially if there's gonna be consequences for you. So that's just something to think about. I know there's a lot of preaching by people all the time where like, oh, you gotta forgive the person who did you wrong or the party that did you wrong. Like, nah, that's not the way I try to move. Forgiveness can be an option, but it's not required. So once again, I wanna remind y'all to run your personal space like a business. When somebody causes damages, they do you dirty, they do you wrong, they ruin something you have going, you gotta either let them go. If you're gonna bring them back in, there needs to be a consequence for it. Or you get to put them out on the side for a while and withdraw your presence from them. That's the only way you're gonna be able to redeem yourself 
and feel a lot better, at least in the short term and especially in the long term. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. If you enjoy my content like this, be sure to drop a like below and leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Follow me on my socials at LeanBuff and subscribe for more.